A break in the case of the two women found dead in suitcases in Walworth County. We've just learned the man now under arrest is a former West Allis police officer. News Chopper 12 flew over the former officer's apartment building at 80th and Lincoln late this afternoon as a forensic team hauled out evidence. Investigators have now identified one of the women as 37 year old Laura Simonson. She's from Minnesota. She'd been missing since November. The other victim's identity is a mystery. Police released an artist sketch hoping someone will recognize her. WISN 12 News Nick Gore is live at the scene with this breaking news. And Kathy, we've been on the scene all day here, and police officers did tape off the area, but we could see them coming and going throughout the day from that apartment there in the lower level there. Uh, we've learned from sources, as you said, the suspect, a former West Allis police officer, 52 year old Stephen Zelich. And police have also circulated, I want to show you this flyer, Kathy. They've uh, passed around mentioning that unidentified woman, that artist sketch. They're asking people here in the neighborhood if they've seen her in this area. An unusual sight to be sure. The Walworth County crime scene van parked on busy Lincoln Avenue in West Allis. Witnesses say police rushed the apartment around 9 this morning, armed with guns, shields, and a battering ram. They came out with a rushed, rushed appearance to the, the apartment complex, and there was approximately seven policemen. Some of them, I don't know if they were SWAT or what, but I'm not sure. After the apartment was secure, investigators wearing white suits to protect any evidence moved in, spending the day hauling items out of the apartment, presumably evidence. The suitcases were found June 5th along a rural town of Geneva Road in Walworth County. The remains of different women were found in each. Here in West Allis, investigators questioned neighbors, showing the photo of the victim we now know was 37-year-old Laura Simonson of Farmington, Minnesota, asking if they'd seen her in the area. They also showed an artist sketch of the other victim. It is scary um, because, I mean, I, I mean, unfortunately, at this time of age, everything's kind of hit or miss. You never know who's right next door to you, and but I don't know. Kind of freaked. I'm just freaked out. <laughs> A nervous laugh from Felicia Sopa, who lives across the hall from the apartment being searched. And she didn't know her neighbor well enough to know his name, but said he lived alone, was quiet, and kept to himself. He's quiet. He's in and out. So, yeah, very, very unreal. And we've learned that victim who has been identified, Laura Simonson, was reported missing in late November from Farmington, Minnesota. Police there, as well as the FBI, are assisting in this investigation, and Zelich remains in custody tonight and is certainly going to be asked many questions in the days ahead. Uh, the uh, formal charges, though, in this case, uh, have yet to be filed. Reporting live at 80th and Lincoln in West Allis, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.